Hey there, it's Tara from Raw Food Living, and today I'm going to be showing you what I'm eating in Sweden in a small town called Karlstad, or just outside of Karlstad, Sweden. It's a lot different than what I've been eating in Canada, so come take a look. Today was a cold, rainy day, and I started it by having some fresh melon and mango. And I actually wasn't expecting the quality of the melon and mango here in Sweden to be any good. I'm not sure why I thought that, but I was pleasantly surprised. I'm not sure what type of mango this is, but I will show it to you in another video when I go grocery shopping. But this mango and this melon were so good. Really, really high quality, which, yeah, just a total surprise to me. But they were really delicious, and it was nice to start the morning off with really hydrating foods. The next thing I had was my smoothie. So I started off by pitting a bunch of these dates, which are my favorite dates. They're called Mazafati dates. If you haven't had them, they're sold all throughout Scandinavia. They're the main type of date you get here and they're really affordable, but they are so delicious. Ah, oh, they're one of my favorite types. They're so good. The next ingredient that I used for my morning smoothie was frozen strawberries. And I have been eating the same smoothie or drinking the same smoothie for quite a while, but it was nice to mix it up. I find when I go to new places, sometimes I desire new foods. So I mixed it up this morning by taking some frozen strawberries and I took about a cup and a half to two cups for this recipe. And where I'm staying at my friend's house, they only have this small personal blender that's similar to the Magic Bullet. Uh, but I found that as long as I soaked the frozen strawberries in a little bit of hot water first, they blended okay. You could also soak the dates as well, but I find that the Mazafati dates are pretty soft as is. And it took a little while to blend this smoothie and it wasn't quite the same as drinking it from the Vitamix, but nonetheless, it was still delicious. Combination of dates and strawberries is such a good one. And this smoothie would also be really good with added vanilla. Next up for lunch, we had this raw tabbouleh salad with falafel balls. We didn't have a dehydrator, so we just ate the falafel balls fresh. I don't know the particular ingredients in this because my friend made them here in Sweden, but these were so delicious. It was filling and flavorful and different from what I usually eat. I find that I often get in a routine with my food, so it was really nice to enjoy new flavors and textures and just eat something different than the same salad I usually eat every day. For dinner, I made a spin on a raw vegan lasagna that I tried last year in Bali, which had layers of zucchini slices, carrot slices, a cashew beet cheese, a tomato sauce, and also guacamole. It seems like a bit of a bizarre combination, but this was so delicious. I loved this lasagna. So that's what I ate today on my raw vegan diet here in Sweden. If you guys want to get the recipes that were shown in this video, give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you want to see more of the meals that I'm eating here in Sweden, also give this video a like. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.